Okay, brothers and sisters, this is um, Keith Allen, um, Streams of Light Ministries, um, and I'm going to do my memory verse, um, but as you can see, it says W, that is weekly. So I do this every week, and then I have the right, um, which means I'll do this, this one down at the bottom left. Um, it says W-R-I-T-E right and then I have my score that I got from last time so the time before I got a hundred percent and then the time um yeah I got a hundred percent like two weeks ago and then now I have a hundred I have 96 percent well when I add in more um the memory verses then you know I, there's one or two of them that I kind of don't remember um from the last time so or, you know, from uh, the memorization for the daily memorization. Um, and so, um, but this is this is uh, important to do in that way because um, your brain, um, once it uh, recalls something from the past, um, the more you keep accessing to it, the more it's going to put it into the long-term memory. Um, so at one point it put it in the short-term memory and says, okay, this information might not be as uh, important as all the other information that I have stored. So if you don't re-access it, then it's going to kick it out. And so you got to re-access the, um, the verse, um, you know, a week later or a month later. And then it'll say, oh, this is very important because we keep going back to this information. So we got to understand how the brain works. So I'm going to click on right to the left of the screen. And now it's going to start um, the verse. So we see uh, Psalms. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. And that is correct. We need that light to go forward in life. We don't know what's going to happen five minutes from now. So we definitely need um, the words light that is going to um, uh, put us on the way, on the right path. Then he said unto his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. We definitely need laborers, brothers and sisters, because there is so many people that need studies, that need to hear a word from the Lord. And I believe I got that verse right. But that's a new one. And so let's see, Matthew chapter 9 and verses... 37 38 and I got it right awesome yes so uh, for this reason we also thank God without season because when you receive the word which you heard from us you welcome it not as the word of men but as it is in truth the word of God which also effectively works in you who believe I believe that's first Thessalonians I don't know if you in other uh videos um i get those those first and second mixed up so i think this is right and you know this is good for me i don't i think it's good for everybody um in philippians chapter 4 in verse i believe 8 it says uh, whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are holy whatsoever things are honest um think on these things and so um, this is helping me to think on good things and not on evil things. It says, he that he saith unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And I believe that's Matthew chapter four and verse 19. I've been hearing that verse all my life. Did not memorize that verse. Did not know where that verse exactly was. Now I know. And by the grace of God, it's going to always be there forever if I keep practicing and I'm sorry, but and but one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. And you can play along with me. Um, and before I put it, you can say, I know what that verse is, you know, and then uh, even stop the video and think about it. Um, so it's kind of a game for you also, but you can also go to this game. I can send you the link. Um, if you give me 
uh, put in the description below. I'll send you a link uh, to the game and you can uh, play this exact game because I'm going to keep rotating these verses. Um, it says, then the, pre the pre then the presidents and the princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could not find, they can find none occasion or f nor fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there error found or fault found in him. So this is Daniel 6, 4. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. All right. So um, I believe that's first Peter. You know, my my dilemma here with the first and the second. Um, so let's hit that. And it's correct. Awesome. So ooh, got all seven. Correct. Very good. So I like it how it has rounds of seven, you know, especially with being a seven day Adventist, being a person who believes in the, the weekly seven day cycle and believe that the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Um, that just kind of, you know, resonates with me and hopefully resonates with you. So it says, and consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation as also our belief, our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him as written to you and i'm uh, sorry also as also in all his epistles speaking in the th them of the things which are of some things hard to understand which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction as they do they also do in the rest of the scriptures okay so um i believe that's second peter Chapter 3 and verses 15 and 16. Got it. After a while, you won't have that question mark in your head. You'll just have that confidence. You'll just be like, yeah, I know what that is. And then you'll, the next thing you know, you'll be talking to someone. And, oh, yeah, I know what that verse is. Look, notice what it says here in this verse. And, I mean, they're going to be like, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to be amazed at yourself. That you're like, wow, you get all you remember these verses. And I think that's important because it does help in a conversation uh, when it comes to spiritual things. Those who are wise shall sh shine like the brightness of the firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever. So this is like a proof text here. Daniel chapter 12 and verse three. Um, that's a proof text showing that those who are going out to the fields because Jesus said the laborers are, uh, the harvest is plenty, the laborers are few. But he said that those who go out, they're like the stars that shine forever, who turn many to righteousness. Those are the ones who are uh, going out into the fields, turning people to righteousness. But he answered and said, it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Matthew chapter four and verse four. See, that's one of those no-brainers now. After a while, I mean, I got that. I'm like, that's a no-brainer. Uh, this is another one. Seventh-day Adventist Church pounds on this verse. And he said unto me, he said to me, um, two, to 2,300 days, uh, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Daniel chapter 8 and verse 14. All right. So, but... Without faith, it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. All right. So it's impossible to please him without faith. We have to have faith in what we're doing. We can't hold back any mentally, physically, spiritually. We need to go forward and just just own it and, and buy into the, what God is saying. And the more information, the more you get closer, the more you read, the more you study, the more you memorize, you will have that faith as a mustard seed and you will move mountains. It says, and when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. So I see I, my time went out, but I'm going to keep going. Um, and I usually only do like a 10 minute window here. 
but um, I'm going to keep going because, hey, you know, I'm going to make up for all the time that I did not have devotion um, in my life in the past. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to go forward. So Acts chapter, um, ooh, now I lost it. Okay, 4 and verse 31. Okay, I got it back. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, that's the Holy Spirit working through you. So, oh, here we go with the Holy Spirit. It says, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit and of the joints and marrows, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So the, the, the word is powerful. It cuts both ways. Don't, don't, don't think that when you, you cut another people up with the word that it's not going to cut you back. It's, it, it cuts both ways. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Ah. Okay, and the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, four and verse 12. Yes, I got it. Sometimes on those those ones that I kind of know and I go too fast and then I put in and I say, oh, I know this one. And I go too fast and then I, I end up putting the wrong the wrong thing. Let's go to the next round. Oh, Lord, hear. Oh, Lord, forgive. Oh, Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your own sake my god for your city and your people are called by your name so i remember that this is daniel praying for his people and this is in daniel chapter 9 daniel chapter 9 he's praying for his people and um they're there you know he knows that they're in captivity for their sins and he's praying the forgiveness of the sins of the people and so we need to do that same thing for our church at large. Um, these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Okay, well now, you know what? I know this one. I believe I do. Okay, I believe I do. But last time I got it wrong and I got it right this time. Awesome. All right. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Okay, so I believe this. I like that, you know, to come. He want all men to come to the knowledge of the truth. I believe that's easy as one, two, three, four. First Timothy one. Uh, chapter two and verses three and four. Easy as one, two, three and four. This is how I remember these things. I mean, it's kind of weird, but these are gonna, you're going to come up with some weird things, how to remember certain verses, and uh, this is one of them for me. Um, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Okay, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Boom, right before the Ten Commandments. Um, but he, but we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. Acts chapter 15 and verse 11. As you can see, I'm not that great of a reader. I'm not, you know, super educated. This is something that anybody can do um, on their own. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. That's right. We A witness only speaks of things which they see and heard. And so we need to be a witness, as it says in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness, and then the end shall come. And so we need to experience and experience things so that which we have seen and heard. We need to experience those things in order for us to be a good witness. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them white, even to the name, to the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed. All right, so that is Daniel chapter 11 and verse 35. I really, really want to study Daniel even more. I've studied it a couple times with, or even a little bit more than that, um, with other people, but um, we really um, don't go deep into um Daniel chapter 11, but there's a lot of history there. It is a lot of uh, prophecy there um, that is very important to understand where we are today and how we got here. 
decay, and uh, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Psalm chapter 19, of verse 1. Beautiful. All right. We can look at the clouds and see God's handiwork. And the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. So um, that's Daniel. That is Daniel chapter 7. That is right when the ancient and days is coming to um, uh the son of I think the son of man coming to the ancient of days, uh, if I'm not mistaken. There's some things I'm still vague on. I'm like, wow, I'm I really need to study more. The more I study, the more I know. I see the the um what I that I need to study more. I need to study more. Deuteronomy. Okay, we are, I'm going ahead of myself. Sometimes I can just look at the verse and say, oh, I know what that is, even before I read it. Take this book of the law and put it besides the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God that it may be there as a witness against you okay so this is Deuteronomy so we can see the distinction here between the uh, law that is inside the Ten Commandments from the law that's on the outside of the Ten Commandments that was written by hand and the law that's inside the Ten Commandments was written by the finger of God and so I said it's going to be a witness. So that helps with uh, Colossians chapter 2 and verses uh, 14 through 17. Um, so I will write that in your Bibles. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 26. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So um, notice that it says confess your faults, not your sins. In some Bible versions, it said confess your sins. Um, we don't confess our sins to one another. We confess our faults. Now, somehow I doubled up. It could be possible that the um, the manual, the church manual, uh, went ahead and uh, used that verse again. That's okay. Hey, repetition deepens the impression, and so we'll just keep studying it as long as we can. Um, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. All right, so John chapter 1 and verses 1 through 4. So many interesting things. And, I, you know, I look at these verses, and I've had experiences with these verses. And when you have experiences with these verses, um, I can keep going on with the experiences that I had with these verses and maybe in the next videos I will share those experiences but I will I see the you know the connection to how it affects me in life and how it affects other people in life and and how it affects our belief in uh, God and in 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 science and and now as I do that it it, it anchors so many more places in my brain and therefore, it accesses it quicker. The more it anchors to more places in the brain, the more neurons you have connected to these verses, the more easier it's going to be to memorize these verses. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And I believe that's James chapter 1 and verse 22. Like, the, why would you deceive yourself? I mean, if anybody you need to be truthful to, is to yourself. <laughs> be truthful to yourself. I mean, and you definitely shouldn't be deceiving. Try to deceive God because you can't do it. It's a waste of time trying to deceive God. God knows everything. Yes, I got 100%. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's all glory to God. It is him. It's the Holy Spirit that brings these things back to our remembrance. And, it's, it, and, it's, and we need to do our part. Do your part. Um, and so let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we just ask that you would bless those who are trying to memorize these verses, that you would write these things upon their uh, heart with the ink of the Holy Spirit, as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verses 1, I, be, I believe it's verses 1 through 3, that the Holy Spirit is the ink. And he's trying to reprogram us. He's trying to uh, uh, reprogram us with the word and so that our knee-jerk reaction, our reaction to 
uh, the things that are taking place around us would be from the word of God, just like Jesus did. He fought the devil with the word of God. And so we just thank you for um, allowing us to study your word and have other options and ways to study your word so we can keep our mind on you. We're not keeping our mind just on Facebook, on Instagram, on any other, uh, uh, you know, uh, app that uh, would distract us from your word. We're uh, using this to keep our mind on you. So we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' holy and wonderful name, amen.